Hi guys, welcome to class today. I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you, but hopefully these simple directions will help um, get you through the class without me. So for today, we're on Thursday, February 11th. Uh, we're gonna be looking at lesson five today. What you guys will be doing is reading night chapter two on your own. Make sure to complete the discussion questions as journal number two um, in your journals. Uh, so you don't have to submit anything to Canvas, just make sure it's in your journal titled journal number two, night chapter two. Make sure you have this done by Sunday, but um, ideally you should have time to finish it once you, as soon as you get done reading the chapter. Okay, a little more in detail about today's class. I'd like you to try to review uh, the chapter one discussion questions. I will put the link for the answers right here under lesson five when you scroll down on the announcement page so you can compare your answers to chapter one's answers. And then for journal number two, before you get to the discussion questions, I would like you to just answer this question here in a few sentences. I want you to reflect on chapter one and think about what was the most shocking event or detail that occurred in chapter one. And then I just want you to explain why. There were so many different things I think that happened that may have really shocked you or you just you know, were, uh, were surprised by, and then explain why. Then after that, you'll complete your discussion questions from your packet. Again, if you haven't picked up your packet yet, you can click on this link above right here where it says discussion questions and that'll pull up all the chapters for you. Okay, um, preview chapter two discussions. We already talked about that. Once you look at them, read, and then when you're done reading, answer them in your journal. Don't worry about the vocab that's listed right here just yet. That shows up a little later um, in chapters three and onwards. So don't worry about that just yet, but that is the vocab that is remaining. Uh, we covered a lot of the vocab in chapter one. If you didn't put sticky notes on those vocab words, that's another way you could spend your time today if you have additional time left over. Okay, as you're reading chapter two, one more reminder is to make sure that you are tracking your paper topic, okay? Again, there won't be vocabulary in chapter two that's on our list. So don't worry about that part so much. Um, but your paper topic, remember, number one was dehumanization. We really get into some uh, cruel ways that the Nazis dehumanized the Jews and others. Um, so keep a lookout for that. As well as number two, if you're doing number two, which was Ellie's changing view of God. And number three was the uh, theme, one of the many themes of um, the story or messages you can think that Ellie Wiesel wants you to get out of reading this. One thing that we would have talked about if I was here, just to keep in mind, one of those messages is that people were not listening. Um, they were warned, but they just weren't listening. So you could kind of track that message. It does come up a few times in this chapter. Okay, so again, your homework is here. So your 4A, Again, have those discussion questions in your journals so you don't have to worry about it later on in the quarter. Okay, so just finish reading night chapter two and discussion questions in your journal. Once you do that, I'd like you to watch this short 10 minute video. Okay, I do want to just, you know, let you know that right off the bat, you're going to see some horrific images and video content. Um, I think it's important for us to see, but at the same time, if you are uncomfortable watching, feel free to just um, get out of the video. You don't have to continue watching it. We're not gonna be, you're not gonna be quizzed or tested or anything on the video. I just want you to listen to Ellie Wiesel speak with Oprah, as well as uh, you know see some of the images if you can stomach them, okay? So thank you for um, all your hard work. I won't get to see you guys again until after break. Have an awesome vacation, and I'll see you when you get back. Thanks.